Hi everyone, I'm Luke Marlowe. And I'm Dave Sterling. And this is our top five Sydney Spring Carnival moments. Well, I'll kick it off, DS. Uh, coming in at number five for me, a Stern. This was the 2016 Golden Rose, arguably for mine, the most dominant Golden Rose winner we've ever seen. He toyed with a top quality field and put them to the sword. Here comes the favourite Astern, and the Colt is letting rip with a big run. Astern heads off Yankee Rose, then came good standing and pending into the clear, but Astern, a big winner in the Golden Rose. Too classy, Astern. Right, Marlo, number four for me is 2015 Royal Ramwick, the Epsom, a mare called Winx. I loved this day because it was a day that you and I were there. It was early on in her winning streak. She was in a bit of trouble for a while She too. was. She was in a bit of a pocket. But it was the day that nearly every favourite won at Royal Ramwick and I've never seen the crowd just enjoying themselves so much. And Winx races up to hit the lead. She shot away in the Epsom. It's all over. Ecuador, sons of John Messine for the Miners with Bowman high in the irons gives the big salute. Number three on our Sydney Spring Carnival moments is It's Me. This is the Cosi Osco in 2020. It was great to see a young horse come through the ranks, Dave, and beat the big guns. You just you just love this because I think you, you won a stack, didn't you? There might have been a little bit of self-interest <laughs> involved in this win. Have a look at It's Me, go. And It's Me is getting to the outside. She's three off them. Man of Peace in front. It's Me wide out. Redouble the fence. Redouble bursting through. It's Me on the outside. Got up to win it. A heart-stopping victory. Right, oh, number two on the list. We're going to delve back a little way here. 2012, Luke. It was the Spring Champion Stakes. There were two unbeaten colts. A horse called Poise here for Nashville and Gay Waterhouse, and there was also a colt called It's a Done Deal for Murray Baker and this kid from New Zealand called J Mac. Yeah, he goes okay, doesn't he? This was a great win. He wore down Poise here. It was a thrilling go in this Spring Champion. And Poissy now ran to the front. It's a done deal on his outsides, trying to go with him. And these two unbeaten Colts race away and leave them for dead. It's Poissy in front. It's a done deal on the outside. It's starting to wind up. It's Poissy in front. It's a done deal on the outside. Lunges and wins it. It's a done deal beat Poissy. A great finish to the Spring Champion Stakes. Well, here we are, our top moment from the Sydney Spring Carnival in recent history. Number one on the list, it's classic legends Everest, eh? How good. Great to see the grey do what he did this day. And great to see a bloke like Les Bridge achieve something pretty special in his career. Absolutely. What a horse he is. Let's have a look at it. Classic legend in the Everest 2020. Eduardo at the 300 metres, a length clear. Nature's Drift's been in his slipstream, giving chase two up to Aubrey on her. Classic legend, four off. The grey flash is starting to cut loose. Here he comes. Classic legend storms to the front and kicked away. The grey flash is now an Everest legend. The grey flash has done it. A third Everest for jockey Kieran McAvoy and trained by a Randwick legend in Lesbridge.